the syncopated clock for David. I haven't forgotten the music, the title it took years to learn, lyrics I found even later in life, opening notes, still memories. Home from school in the afternoon, the senses of cooking carrying into the living room, almost time for the four o'clock movie to start on channel two. On Friday nights in the new decade, the car guy or surplus store owner, hosting the even then old memories, trimmed to fit their live commercials. Black and white, no colorizing yet. The studio logos, the stars and stories, I still turn to when nights get long, when I get lonely, when the demons get loud. By now you're expecting a list of names, a litany of titles and plot lines, but no. I'm sure you're expecting that you have your own favorites. And yes, the movie's about to start. Uh, for those of you who grew up in the Chicago area in the late 50s, early 60s, CBS's four o'clock movie, Syn Syncopated Clock was the theme to that. And uh, it was also for uh, Bill Moran, the Courtesy Man's Friday Night Movies, and um, Maury, the guy who owned the uh, military surplus warehouse over on Harlem Avenue and 63rd Street. Orphans. When the winds of war blew, the ash that was a village announced our coming, not to foster us, but to bolster your image as world savers. You gifted us three syllables, refugees. Now the war is finished business, rebuilding the order of the day, a different kind of kindness ruling the news, propaganda, image. Little attention will be paid when you change the term for us to deportees. The bridge. Some days we will pass each other on the road that leads both to and away from the bridge of love. In one subset of those days, we will wave and pass a smile, while in another, no notice is shown. Some days, a subset of the larger set, we will miss each other entirely. We will wonder if we can miss a heart for which no name resides in memory. With any luck at all, we'll meet someday upon the bridge and stay for some days. Thank you, thank you. Ambushed. The sun is burning in the sky as we set out on recon patrol, looking for signs, sight, or sound that Charlie's in the neighborhood. The radio is heavy on my back, but all the other articles of war serve at least to balance me. 30 minutes out, soaked in sweat, I almost wish for the night patrol. I found a love for me before I joined, a woman like no other on earth, and likely deserving better than me, though she swears otherwise, and often. I don't think of her while out on patrol. My attention spent on staying alive, but I wanted you to know about her, to understand we're more than just trained killing machines. We're so much more. There's a place on a blank stretch of road where a small bridge runs over a creek 
that runs to a river that snakes to the sea. As the gunny takes his first step, the bridge rises up to meet him, to toss him to the other side, hiding him from us in smoke and fire, and small arms fire takes the rest of us in crossfire, leaving the blank stretch of road littered and red as if on fire. When it all went down, there was no way to go back and try over again, to look for what we missed, to turn the clock so far back we'd never even been there. Even the birds were likely surprised, silenced by the rolling thunder, the ongoing chatter of AKs beneath the sun that would surely have blinded if any of us were still alive to see. Across the evening sky, our seven souls make their way to eternity, far, far away from the sound of a medevac inbound, of gunships working the area to cover the corpsmen, working to place our bodies on stretchers and load the stretchers into the gray belly of the green frog for the flight out to the carrier where we'll be prepared for a final trip home. Obviously not autobiographical, because I'm alive. Um, while I was in Vietnam, they flew three full helicopters of dead out to my ship in a half hour. And this is their story. Relativity, taking its epigraph from Doug Tenori, I am thinking about long afternoons in Paris in the middle of the night. The problem is the afternoons were never long enough. Even in your embrace, they seemed unchecked, as though the hours fled like minutes made of seconds from the past. The midnights, yes, as I lie awake and wonder if I only dreamt of you, as the taste of your name, your laughter, and your skin escape me. They are long, yes, stretched like longing for a journey to resume. And I promise you one other poem that I'd like to be remembered by. And uh, this of the two, I think, leads the list. Elegy. Dig the small grave and place the smaller body so, just so. The chill may rain and the warm human tears falling on her head will serve for the ritual washing of this pup, barely two days old. Some future digger after truth, alien or human, kneeling with trowel and brush at this grave, will note in clear, careful script the wonder that a people would be so deliberate with the smallest of their God's creatures and so careless of themselves. Thank you.